Hey, what's going on, everybody on YouTube? How's everybody doing? I'm doing just fine. Doing awesome, actually. So today, welcome back to another episode here on the Afterlife server. Uh, but yeah, cool stuff going on over here on the server. I've been doing a little bit of off-camera work over here at the spawn house. And uh, just trying to dress it up a little bit, trying to make this area look a little bit nicer. And I think that's going to be the focus of today's episode. Uh, so over here, I've been doing a lot of terraforming work underneath sort of this bridge area. And I want to do more on this side as well, because it does need a little bit of help. Right now, it's kind of like dirt walls and just, you know, kind of rough terrain. It's not bad, but it definitely could use some work. Uh, this definitely looks a lot better, in my opinion. Uh, so I spent a lot of time, and I've been trying to work on my cliffs as well, uh, trying to make trying to make them look look a little bit more realistic to how cliffs look in real life. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been kind of working off of, uh, working off some example images that I find on Google. But uh, we're gonna do a little bit of sign reading in the first half of this episode because uh, this. Uh, just kind of laying out where I want everything to kind of be and just kind of show you guys my idea for today and what I want to get done. So, over here, starting off, I want to move this path over. This path has got to go this way a little bit more, kind of where, where this nether rack torches. Um, because this looks a little awkward right here to have two paths next to each other, it just looks a little weird. And to divide this a little bit better, once we move this over, I want to have a custom oak tree. And that, a custom oak tree meaning I want to have, like, uh, some different kind of trees around here. So, uh, maybe some oak. We got these, like, dark oak trees. Uh, I want to have some different trees around here. I think it'd be looking really cool. Uh, over here, we're going to put a custom dark oak tree. So, that's what that tree is. It's a custom, like, dark oak thing, mangrove tree. Um, so, I want to have another one up here somewhere. And this one says build out the terrain. So, I'm going to build this out once we move the path over that it'll make it feel a little bit of its kind of own little zone it'll make it feel a little elevated over here and over here I want to have a wheat field and then over here I want to have another custom oak tree and then down this way on this little area I want to build a horse stables right here so this is kind of my idea how to have a horse stables right here I've been wanting to build one for a while right over here there is gonna be a retaining wall uh, sort of like this one, like a mud retaining wall, just to kind of hold up this little piece of terrain. Sure, it'd be kind of, it'd be neat to have it like sloped down, but I think it, I think to match the other side, we'll have a, a retaining wall. I think it'll make it feel a little bit more, a um, little, a little bit better in my opinion. Um, custom oak, dark oak tree right here, kind of separate the houses, right? Like this kind of just feels a little blank, a little empty. Um, it'll also block this line of sight right here. Um, and as you're coming around the corner, you'll just see this building right here, and you won't see all of this. Um, which is kind of what I want. Right over here, I want to have a carrot field, carrot field, and that's just going to divide me and Whitefire's house, right? That's just going to divide this area. We're going to have some bushes, we're going to have a nice divider here. And that way, it kind of separates his area from my area. My area is kind of big, and I kind of intrude on his area in terms of his spawn house, but he doesn't mind. I've already asked him, he says, do whatever you want to make it look pretty around the houses. And uh, that's kind of what he he goes for. So, Alright, so I'm just building up these little walls right here. I thought about doing fences, but I think the walls look a little bit better. I don't know. We'll have to see how it looks with the wheat. But uh, yeah, I'm building up little stone walls, little mud walls actually, and just trying to give this a little texture. And I think it'll match what we have over where we have the retaining walls. You can see a little bit of mud bricks right there. So I thought these would look a little bit better than fences. I'm used to using a combination of mud, different mud blocks, just to give it a broken up feel. And uh, try to like, just, just play around with it. So you can see I'm replacing some blocks here and there, trying to give it a little bit of texture. Maybe I don't like a certain block, I can always, always change it up. I think I'll put a slab up here. And maybe a little bit of some mud bricks down there. 
right here. We'll put mud brick and we'll get a wall behind. There we go. And uh, yeah, that's sort of my process with this. Nothing, nothing too fancy, nothing too hard, and um, works really well. And you just kind of repeat this process, right, as you go along. And that's sort of what I've been doing. I love doing like little, little stone walls like this. I think it looks really cool. Um, and I don't know. I think it looks really nice. It's a nice alternative if you have like a little wheat field or something. Um, and I'll put leaves behind this. I think that actually looks pretty good. Let's get some leaves. Put an oak leaf there. Put some more leaves just kind of scattered around here. Let's see how that looks. Oh, yeah, that really, see, that just helped instantly bring it a little bit of life. Put a, a little block there. And maybe a little, little wall just like that. Just to kind of, you know, make it feel like this is going to be our little entrance right here into the wheat field. I think that's gonna be pretty cool. So, yeah, um, that's sort of my process. I just wanted to show you what I'm what I'm sort of doing here because I don't usually build on camera. That's not really my style, per se. Um, but if we can have, if I could show you guys a little technique here and there, I think that's always good. Um, but as you guys got to see in the time lapse, we did build up these custom trees, and I think they add so much to this area. Um, let's just actually go back over here. So yes, from a distance, you can see that these really add a ton. I mean, just an absolute ton. Yes, it covers up the house a little bit, like depending on which angle you look at it. But that's actually a good thing. You don't want to see a whole house, right? Trees kind of block those lines of sights and really makes it feel natural. It makes it feel like it's in the land, right? That's such an important thing when building is like having these little details around a house really help bring it into the world. Um, and that's such an important thing when building, um, trying to build into the land, trying to make it feel like it was supposed to be there, right? It's not just this big red roofed house just sticking out like a sore thumb. The trees kind of blended in. It also gives a sense of scale as well, which is so important. But I love this. We also have one over here too. I did ask Wifire, I said, hey, can I build, can I build this over here? And he said, absolutely. So... Yeah, I didn't have a problem with that. And plus, I think it looks really nice. It also gives a sense of scale for his house as well. It kind of just shows that this tree is a, you know, a big tree, a big boy. So it really helps give that um, sense of height, sense of scale, all that good stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to keep working here. I'm going to bring you guys back with another progress update in due time. And, uh, yeah, let's get back to work. All right, so do I got a treat for you guys. This, oh, man, this looks so much better now over here. This, this is, once was an eyesore, right? Once was an eyesore, but now it's a treat to look at, right? Lots of little details. I figured out this wheat field over here, play with the walls a little bit more, and I think I got them to where I like them. Um, there's always more details I could add, though, and but I think we've, we've got a lot here, so this is pretty good for what it is. Um, and I also added a wall on this side as well. I felt like it kind of needed it, and it also helped out this cliff side and just made it... I just feel like it was blended into the land a little bit better, so. But yeah, added some lamp posts around. I got one over here, one over here. And then we also have one over here. And the thing of it is, I moved the to-do list board over this side. Because the to-do list board was blocking, like, this section of the house. And it, it kind of blocked this viewpoint, which I didn't, I didn't really want it to be blocked. Um, I wanted to be able to see the house a little bit. Now we moved it off to the side over here, which I feel like is a good area to have it with a little lamppost. Just off to the side, it's its own area now. And it also kind of makes this divider feel a little bit more intentional, right? Um, and it, it just it just feels a little bit better, right? It makes it feel like it has a purpose, which I like this. I like this a lot. So it's still all the same stuff on here and uh, nothing's changed in that. But I also had another little lamppost over here as well. And uh, what else did I do? I think that was pretty much it. Oh, I also had the retaining wall down here. So, yeah, which I think looks really, really cool. And now these two sides match. I, I messed up. I well didn't mess. I, I didn't mess it up like at, on per, like on accident. But I messed it. I messed this wall up on purpose uh, to make it feel like it was a, a ruined style of wall uh, over here because I kind of went a little bit more ruiny, um, kind of messy. And I feel like that looks a little bit better than a formal design. Just because of the walls we have for the farm up there, I feel like it looks a lot better. 
to have it a little less uniform, a little bit more rustic feeling. So, yeah, I think it looks really cool. I also add, added a little bit more grass in the pathway here. I think it looks a lot better. Makes it feel a little bit overgrown, like it's been here a little bit. And I like that look. I like that rustic look. But yeah, I think it's time now we actually start working on the horse stables. You can kind of see it change immediately. Like, here's the line right here. Bam. Oh. It's just... No. Hey! Hey. What are you doing over here? Oh, well, you know, I've just been explaining that uh, this town over on this side is like the nice area of town. And this side oh. where I live, you know, is, isn't the greatest anymore. <laughs> um, I put a lamppost here, as you can see. It's, um... You know, the public services have been doing great here. And, oh. uh... I I just want to say that, it, you know, it looks beautiful. It's a beautiful lamppost. But oh, everything you. else in this area, I think it just needs an update, you know? Need a little sprucing up in your life over here. This whole area just, uh, man, it's just like the old area of town that just never got any love, you know? It needs a, it probably does need a little, little bit of an update. I mean, we can, we can give it like a little love, right? I've been putting these walls around. I've been putting custom trees and stuff. So... I could definitely help I you think, with that uh, if you want it. You know, I, I I think it would be a really good idea to do that. All right, awesome. I mean, we could we. I mean, potentially collab on it. Do a little collaboration. Yeah, let's just start burning this stuff down. Oh, okay. And, uh, oh Jesus. Oh my get God. To work right. Okay. Well, I <clears throat> fire ticks off, but. <laughs> oh right. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is. I mean, look at this. We're we gonna chop. Look, it says the south side garden. The south side is no longer the nice side. Is the south side is no longer the nice side. But yeah, we want to turn this into the nice side estates, you know. Yes, I mean, oh, I mean, I already have a vision for this area. We could put, we could put so much stuff over here. Bruce up that nether portal, just make it look a little bit better because it's just all brick over there, you know. It's not bad, but it's it could use a little update with some of the newer blocks and everything. So. Yeah. yeah, you know, I, I'd love to learn from a, a builder uh, <gasps> and, and how to spruce something up. I mean, so. some call me the master architect of the realm. <laughs> Just out of, you know. <laughs> hey, man, I, you said it, not me. Uh, yeah, well, some say it. Some, I'm just putting it out there. So, All right, so got lots to show you. <laughs> lots and lots to show you. I've been at hard at work, and also, yeah, you got to see we met up with Puff, and that was pretty awesome. Good to see him, as always. We're going to be doing so a future project in this little flat area over here in the future, of course. Um, we've we flattened it all out. We got it all ready to go. I uh, also adjusted the path pathways a little bit over here. Um, his base is still here, so for anybody wondering, this is his base under here. Um, I also... The path was kind of wiggly, wormy, so I have, I've adjusted it to make it nice and straight. And we, me and Whitefire actually worked on this tunnel uh, the other night and uh, made it a little bit more uniform. That actually goes through this whole mountain, and then there's like a turn in there as well that goes to the skeleton farm. So, pretty cool stuff. Um, and I've also gone ahead and just adjusted this a little bit uh, around Hugh's house as well. I've adjusted all the terraforming. 
uh, adjust this pathway. So it just looks a little bit better, and there's also more space for spawn houses and stuff if people haven't built a spawn house yet. I suggest you guys do, because that would absolutely be amazing if we can start filling up this area a little bit and start making it look a little bit more lived in. But that's all up in the air. And right here is where the nether portal is going to go. So we're actually going to be putting, bringing this nether portal down here. I already have a design laid out, but we're going to be working on that in the next episode. So I think that's going to work out pretty cool. We'll be working on that with Puff. But right here, I actually added another one of these fields because I love these little fields. Um, I love that wheat field so much. I'm like, well, let's do a potato field over here. And I think it looks really cool, really awesome. Got the bushes and the tall grass in there just to break up the monotonous look of the potatoes. And uh, I've done a whole bunch of terraforming right here as well. Got this terraformed. Let's go with the free cam, actually. Um, so yeah, I got this all terraformed out over here. And it looks really cool. So now it just matches the other side, uh, how we have it on the other side. So super excited about all this. I'm very happy with this progress and how it's coming along around the spawn house. I also freed the bees. I'm letting them fly around because I just love when bees like fly in and out of the houses and um, you might not like it in real life but uh, for Minecraft they're just so darn cute and I love like having sort of life around here. I think it makes it feel more um, I don't know more more naturey, I guess. <laughs> I wish Minecraft had birds. That would be really cool seeing birds fly from tree to tree. That would be just so awesome. Uh, but the big thing is the horse stables. So yeah, this is the horse stables design that I've gone with. There's actually room up in the top half here to actually put stuff. So if you guys have any suggestions with what we can do with that top half, because I'm not too sure what I want to do, um, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Love reading your guys' comments. And then here we have some horses and caramel macchiato in the center horse stable uh, looking as fine as ever. And I, I feel like these horses are horses are happier than ever to live in this horse stable. It's looking so cool. And I've also gone ahead and done the liberty of adding lampposts and also lighting up this whole area with uh, mossy carpets. So what, what we got here is some just moss with a little frog light underneath. I've gone ahead throughout white fires and my place to just kind of light it up and make it look a little bit cleaner. No more torches anywhere. It doesn't look dirty. And I've done that all throughout this pathway right here, all throughout KB's area as well. And with the uh, lamp posts, I love these little lamp posts everywhere. It really makes it feel like a pathway now and makes it feel like it's like homely. So yeah, it's looking really cool around here. And uh, lots of updates, lots of cool stuff going on. And there's only more to come, guys. So yeah, that is going to do it for this episode, though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And as always, don't forget to be awesome. And I will see you guys next time.